Thanks so much, Natasha. What a babe. Chelsea Bird, beautiful body. Have you had the honor of meeting her yet? I've never met her, no. I'm on the lookout. Best bod in Edmonton. I, I'm going to keep my eyes out for her this summer. But if you're just tuning in now, we are Block 1912, and this is Jarrell Pepin. He's the owner of the store, and we're here to talk about icy cold summer treats. So let's start with gelato. First off, what's the difference between gelato and ice cream? Because I know there's a lot of variations. Uh, the main difference is that a lot of the air is pulled out of gelato. So unlike ice cream, which can have about half air in it, it's made with also all natural ingredients. There's no flavorings or um, artificial coloring in it. And it's made with cream or milk instead of cream. So ice cream will be a lot heavier and it'll have a lot more calories and fat. Gelato is a lot lighter. It tastes a lot better. And it just, yeah, the bandage yeah. just tastes a lot better. So. And you have a, quite a few flavors here. About how many are we looking at? Uh, we have about 30 on any given day. A good portion of those can be the sorbetto and the tofu lati as well. Okay, we'll get to the sorbetto and the tofu lati because those are different besides gelato as well. I noticed that some are fruit-based and some are the creamy chocolates and hazelnuts and cappuccino. So how do you decide on flavors and what's the difference between a creamier and then the fruitier? <laughs> I always revert back to the chocolate ones actually. Yeah, I, I love chocolate. Like chocolate. <laughs> um, but in the summertime on hot days, the fruit is always nice. So. Okay. Yeah. And is there a process when you're making fruit and putting fruit in gelato? How do you keep those natural flavors in? Uh, there is a pretty complicated process behind it. Um, with the fruit ones, they usually have to be at a bit of a lower temperature just because there's more ice in it, and yeah. Okay, and we were talking about the fact that gelato is usually lighter, but when you're doing a creamier flavor, say like a double chocolate fudge, mm -hmm. sounds like there's a lot of calories in that one to me. No, is that still the case? Is it still better for you than ice cream? It is still better for you. It is made with uh, natural ingredients, though, so if it does say... Uh, chocolate fudge, there is going to be chocolate and fudge in it as opposed to just strawberry, which will have just regular strawberries. That black forest looks absolutely delicious. What's your favorite flavor? My, I vary a lot. I always come back to the chocolate peanut butter, though. It's my mm. all-time favorite. Yes, so. chocolate peanut butter. I can't go wrong. Reese's Pieces kind of flavor. Yeah, it tastes exactly like that. Excellent. Here on White Ave, we see so much foot traffic in the summer with people carrying around those icy cold treats like gelato and sorbetto and frozen yogurt. Why do you think this is such a popular area of town to be seen with something frozen in your hand? White Ave is like the center of the city and we've been here for 19 years now so we're known in the community as being a really good place for gelato and where we keep the consistency of the product mm -hmm. stable so. And this is a treat that didn't start here in Canada, didn't right originate here. As many people know it has Italian roots. Yeah, exactly. And why do you think that makes it popular so that it's something different and not necessarily a Canadian born treat? Um, it is something that is seen as a luxury product because it is imported and they really know what they're doing with the quality of the food as you can see in a lot of Italian food. So, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, well we are going to come back with some more information about tofu lati and sorbetto. Thank you so much, Darrell. We'll be right back after this.